Hey guys, welcome back to this place. And if you are new, then welcome here for the very first time. I am Carmen, and today we are going to be watching season three, episode seven of The Expanse. I just got done watching the last episode, as you can probably tell, and I just really wanted to watch the next one right away. So, yeah. The way that we left off was a giant structure coming out of Venus made of protomolecule. May is rescued, but I don't trust that Strickland didn't do something. Aaron Wright was arrested, so you know I was happy about that. Christian is going to talk to Mal. Naomi and Holden were like, you know, having a little something something. And yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. So let me stop talking and let's just watch the episode. Christian? My fellow citizens, our faith as a nation has been sorely tested. But the arrest of the traitor, Ellen Wright, and the resignation of Secretary General, Sorrento Gillis, has given us the opportunity to choose a new future. Many fought for us to get here. Many died. I'm confused. We must choose peace. Is this a dream? And dedicate ourselves to being one people with a shared purpose. And as we have always done in the past, we will face the unknown together. together. What the hell? So, so we just have a ring hanging out in space now? I have one more record for all the rest I crush. Your nail keep the best time in the system for the Jupiter 6 run. When I get back to Sirius, you go and you'll be banging a superstar. All right. Months. His girlfriend gonna break up with him. You're always off somewhere, do your thing, and we always wait here for you for come back. Okay? You get tired of the wait. And your brother, now, you understand me? The real me? They say you're selling out this stuff. Hun, hun. She, she left you for your brother. She, yeah. she's, she's not good news. A lot of people think you're special. You're pretty stealthy. Part of the job. You'll get used to it. Could we try that again? We're just trying to make a living. It's not cheap or easy to maintain a ship like this. Especially if it's not really yours. Whoa, 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 whoa. hold on there, darling. <laughs> That's a legitimate salvage. That's not what the Martians think. Would you have done this documentary if we didn't agree to pay your legal fees? Nope. Hell, I might have done it for free. We are a regular working contract ship. Fair quarter share for everybody. Quarter, there's only three of you on board. Where my girl at? What happened to Naomi Nagata? She's on a leave of absence. Drugs. On Tycho, that would get you six months in jail. I don't want to see that shit where people are working. If they want to do it, she got new they tattoos. can do it on their own time. We do all the hard work. Um, Doors has to make it look like it's his. That's what you get when you dance with the devil. We've both done that before. You know, I've got your back. Damn, I better I'm your captain. Requesting permission to come aboard. You're already here. It's a tradition. Can I say no? <laughs> you have done well for yourself. You too. Of course, that always was your main concern. Do you think it might have been alive in some way? A life form? Yeah. Aren't you part of the godly contingent? No, I came here in a spaceship, not the wings of an angel. I'm able to appreciate the difference. I started off on the supply and logistics track, but I was always better as a mechanic. Who was your sponsor? I didn't have one. So you came up through the lottery? Yep. What? So where were you based before you came up the well? Your intake paper said Baltimore. I spent some time there. Yeah, I actually couldn't find any records of you on the wall. In fact, you don't seem to have any official government records at all. Weird. I did 
talked to some locals though and they told me about a guy who was also named Amos Burton who was some sort of mob boss. But that couldn't be you, right? Because you left the city when you were 15. Maybe it was just a common name. He died though, right? So he had to assume an identity. What is it going to take for you to get comfortable with me? You being off the ship. What are you doing right now? This. I bet you're one of those tough guys who gets really sentimental and chatty after sex. I don't shit where I eat. Who is this guy? I don't feel like I can trust him. What's wrong? Our construction skiff malfunctioned. It's stuck in a hard spin. Pilot's not responding. Ah, oh, it's one G plus. It must have blacked out. Oh no, it's that guy. It's too late. So it's a file for divorce. Oh. How do you feel about that? Honestly. Expect kind of relieved. It's better to know what you want and who you are. You know, my fellow soldiers might dispute how you took ownership of your ship, but you earned that seat you're in. You're a top-notch pilot. You can fly me anytime. You gotta go. I miss Bobby being on the ship. I don't expect you to be perfect, or anyone. That skiff driver was free to put whatever he liked into his body. We all are, until that freedom puts others at risk, and then we act accordingly. Who is the dealer? So this is your spot, huh? So you came to the hatch. Who wears Prax, yeah. I call him Prax Panels. What's a Prax? He's a botanist. You miss him? Yeah. He was good company. He was my best friend in the whole world. Why didn't you go with him? He didn't ask. He didn't have to. I'm not really the rebuilding type. It's more important than ever that we learn to love each other. I heard you shut down Monica. Does that mean I have a chance? Like I told her, I don't shit where I eat. Everyone's just hitting on Amos. Like, I get it, but like, what the hell? She's gonna blow this ship up. Okay, bypass is safe. Swap her out. Why? What are you doing? This one supplies him. I'm going to space him and make him watch in full view of the crew. Captain! I have a word. In a minute? No. We're not pirates or rock hoppers anymore. We're citizens of the world. Come on. If we ever want to be accepted as equals with the great nations of Earth and Mars, we must act with greatness. I don't like him either. But in this, he's not wrong. Oh, she doesn't like that. This door will be open for one ship. If anyone has any contraband in their possession, they have until then to put it in here with no repercussion. After that, anyone caught dealing will be thrown in the brig, court-martialed, and sent back to Ceres for incarceration on a prison barge. That's not what she said, though. I think maybe I was wrong about you. Off. It's gonna be waiting for you when you get back. <sighs> Men can be stupid sometimes. Why'd you have to look? I have to do this. No, you don't. No, you, you don't have to do this. You didn't have to look. I really wish you had. Alba, I fought people before. Please don't make me hurt you. I'm sorry. Help! She 
you do that? I think what you are are liars. All of you. Excuse me? I don't think anyone on the ship is being honest about why you're here, what you want, and who you are. Okay. You say you're not special? It's obvious that you are. I think you're trying to get a rise out of me. So that episode was really interesting. I think that having watched it immediately after 306, it was a little bit jarring because it's it's a lot different. It's 187 days in the future. Lots of things have shifted and changed and sort of the, not ambiance, but like the mood of everything from the last episode to this episode is much more slowed down calmer pace and I think that maybe I should have waited a little bit longer to watch this episode because of that but that being said I still really really liked it I always say really really I am very interested in where we're gonna go from here lots of moving parts and it's gonna be interesting to see where they sort of coalesce into a whole if that makes sense all right, so first off, I want to talk about this guy. What was his, what was his name? Hold on. Maneo, I think. And he doesn't make sense to me, okay? He doesn't make sense to me because he's racing around and that's fine. He's, he likes to race. He wants to be the fastest and he's getting sort of really sick and tired of the news about the ring sort of overshadowing his racing achievements and that I get it makes sense but his girlfriend cheats on him with his brother and his solution is to try to win her back like hun if that ever happens to you that is a situation where you just get the fuck away from this girl like she doesn't care about you not really if she only cares about you and wants to be with you because of your achievements and what you can give to her, then she doesn't care about you. Like, sorry, I feel like I was yelling really loud, but I, like, she just kind of flashed her boobs at him and he was like, bitch, I'm ready to fucking die for you. And, you know, I just, you know, I don't get it. I don't get it. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't know. I guess he was, he seemed kind of young and stupid and maybe he thought he was in love with this girl even though, you know, it clearly wasn't a great relationship or a super healthy one, but I don't know. I thought it was stupid. And obviously at the end it culminates in him trying to go through the ring. I thought he was just going to get shot down because, you know, there's lots of other ships in the vicinity right now trying to monitor the ring and see what's going on, both UNN and I think Mars as well. So I just thought he was going to get shot down because he's trying to, you know, like poke the bear. But no, the ring put up some sort of force field and he... Hmm, I'm not even really sure how to, to describe what happened to him. It's like all of his, his insides went outside. You know, I think it's like he slammed into a wall at whatever ridiculously high speed he was going to and that, that, that kind of happened. So, yeah. Anyway, speaking of the ring, it is the protomolecule jellyfish that came out of Venus and has now in the 
well, it didn't take it 147 days. I guess it came out of Venus and then it formed a ring and this ring has just been chilling in space for like 187 days now. I, as you saw in the beginning, was very confused because I was kind of expecting it to pick up where it left off and instead it picked up 187 days in the future or at least sometime in the future and Christian was on Earth and she was giving this press conference and she's talking about how Aaron writes Arresta, <laughs> still loving that, and the Secretary General stepped down so now she's in charge and like I'm here for that. I'm here for Christian being in charge of Earth. Like I think she'll actually do a good job at it but I was not expecting that and I'm I am sad that Bobby went back to Mars to be, to be a Martian, like Marine rather. <laughs> She's already a Martian. Because I, I really liked her and Christian together and especially since we lost Cotillard in the last episode, my whole team ABC being split up into different parts of the world is, you know, it's not what I wanted. It's, it's not what I wanted, but we'll have to see. Also the crew of the Rosinante is all split up now. We have Naomi on the behemoth with Kamina Drummer which I am excited to see more of Kamina but I'm not excited that we don't have you know Naomi still with the crew and I mean yeah she said she was gonna leave like Chris, or Christian Holden knew that she was gonna leave but I still I don't like to see it. I want her to be back with the crew of the Rosinante. I want Prax to be back. I guess Prax kind of can't really be back though because he has May. But yeah, it's just my crew's gotten shaken up again and I had just gotten really happy and used to the crew as we had it and now it's different again. But I liked seeing Alex and Bobby's conversation. It's cute. I like their friendship. I could ship it if it wanted to go that way as well. So, you know, keep my eyes peeled for that. Speaking of shipping, everybody on this ship, on the Rosinante, is trying to get with Amos. And like, I mean, I don't blame them, but like, y'all need to calm down, all right? Not everybody. <laughs> that makes it sound like Holden and Alex are trying to get with Amos too. But this Monica girl and the blind cameraman guy, we might have learned his name, but I don't remember. And they're both like hitting on Amos and like, again, I understand, but like, chill out, chill out. Y'all, there's so much that happened. Okay. Also going off of that, we saw the blind cameraman guy doing some something shady. I think that he Whatever he was doing is what made Holden see Miller in his chamber before he went to sleep. His bed chamber? That sounds really weird. His, you know, quarters. His living quarters. Sorry. Chamber? What the? I don't know what, where I got chamber from. But I think that that's what happened. I don't know. I could be way off. It could have to do with the fact that there is still proto-molecule on your ship. I'm calm. I'm calm. Could be that. It could be the proto molecule still on the ship. It could be this guy who seems a bit iffy to me, like eh, the way he's acting. Don't super trust him. Speaking of this guy though, well, Monica, they are filming a documentary. I think I forgot to talk about that, but they're filming a documentary on them, which is hilarious. And so they have like these cameras and she's asking all these questions and everything, but she did research on Amos and I'm very intrigued by what she found and what she did not find. Okay, so Amos Burton was a mob boss in Baltimore and Amos left Baltimore at 15. Now he told Prax last season that he had to die to get out of Baltimore. So my assumption is that Amos somehow killed this mob boss, Amos Burton, and took his identity and whoever Amos was before died in Baltimore. And now Amos Burton, who he is now, is still living and working, you know, on the Ros Rosinante. In which case I'm very, very intrigued at 
who Amos was before, if he, like, what he had to do in order to survive. Was he, like, a minion of this mob boss? Was he, did he work for him? Was he, like, hired gun? I know he was a kid, but I'm just intrigued by that. I'm intrigued by last season we found out that there's a woman in Baltimore whose name I forget at this moment who took care of Amos when he was younger so I'm intrigued about that. I'm intrigued about Amos's family. Again I could be reading this wrong but that's sort of my ongoing theory for what's going on or what happened with Amos and if this documentary lady gives me more information on him, more backstory, I'm here for her y'all. I'm here for her. Also that actress is very familiar and I don't know where I know her from but I definitely know her. To go back to Naomi being on the behemoth with Kamina Drummer and she's helping the OPA right now because she feels like she wants to help the belt become a part of this new world where the belt and Earth and Mars can be an alliance and they can work together and the belt can be treated like equals and Naomi obviously wants to be a part of building this new world for the belt. Now I don't love that she's apart from the crew of the Rosinante but I understand where she's coming from and why she would make the choice to do this. Also she has a new tattoo and she has purple hair now and like I feel like she's going through a whole rebel phase <laughs> but I'm okay with it. She looks great as always. She's gorgeous like you know that's a given. But I am interested in her dynamic with Drummer. I'm interested in who this new guy is that came along that Dolls sent. I did not catch his name but he's the one with the scar on his face. He doesn't seem like a bad guy. Like he's saying the right things. He stopped her from spacing that guy which I didn't like. I don't like. I did not like at the time and I still don't like because he openly sort of cut her off and challenged her in front of the crew which I don't think you should be doing because she is the captain of the ship and you need to defer to her in that sort of situation and maybe talk about any issues you have in private later and maybe get them resolved but he's saying the right sort of things to make me want to like him because I want you know the belt to be a good place where you know the rule of law still exists and they don't act out and do bad things like Earth and Mars have sort of pegged them as doing. So I, I sort of understand where he's coming from with this idea that we want to be a part of this new civilization. We need to act more civilized and that I get that I understand and I fully back him on that but I don't like that he's challenging Drummer and I feel like the fact that he's with Diogo and Diogo I feel like is too up doll's ass makes me question his motives and the validity of what he's saying and since I like Drummer and I understand where she's coming from and I support her I'm much more inclined to be on her side and to agree with what her perspective of this guy is. You know, very quickly. Anna is also on a spaceship. I think the Thomas Prince, she's going towards the ring. Her wife is kind of upset because she was supposed to be gone for like this tiny bit of time and then she was going to come home and then she's been gone for like this really big length of time now. So, you know, I don't know. Hopefully she can help and she can I don't know what the ring slash proto molecule slash whatever the hell we're gonna call it now wants. I don't know if it is technology or if it is organic. I've been reading it as organic but this guy seems to think it's technology maybe created by an organic alien life form. So I don't know. I don't know but it would be a very advanced technology that presents itself as organic if that's what it is which again would be so far beyond what I think that these people are ready for even if it is technology so. And the last thing that I want to talk about is Melba and what the hell she was doing. Like she's gonna blow up that ship that she was supposed to help and then she did this weird like thing 
and then literally had like super freaking powers and like beat the hell out of that guy and like I'm pretty sure killed him so I don't know what the hell's going on with Melba I don't know what the fuck she is if she's something more than human if she has anything to do with the proto molecule like Like, what the fuck is going on with that girl? And yeah, I just, I don't know. All right, guys. So I think that is all that I have to say about this episode. It was really good. And I'm interested in what it has set up to come in the future. I am intrigued by lots of things and curious as to where certain characters and certain arcs and all of that is going to go. But I am done talking for now. So as always, let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And until next time, bye guys.